Hi, good to see you, I'm Max, and in this video we will talk about why the size of the supply of your favorite cryptocurrency does not matter. But before it starts, I checked yesterday and 61% of you guys aren't following us on YouTube, so please make sure you're subscribed and, uh, and yeah, it will allow you to not miss any single one of our videos and as we make videos on a daily basis, it would be horrible to miss them, right? So, why this video, essentially? Well, there is this kind of myth, I guess, in crypto that um, having a large, very large supply with like billions of tokens is really not a good idea, and that it, it, it will lead to your token being very... Uh, uh, having a very bad performance, uh, having a very bad price performance in this case. Um, and, you know, before we start, it's also important to tell, to, to, to know the difference between circulating supply, total supply, and max supply. In this case, we are specifically talking about having a general high supply doesn't matter if it's circulating supply, total supply, or max supply. And we aren't specifically talking about any of these. We're talking about having um, the size of the supply. It's not the supply specifically. Um, but in this case, circulating supply is what's circulating, right? It's the amount of tokens which are, are held by the public and which can directly be sold on exchanges. Um, total supply is the maximum amount uh, of tokens which today is exists and max supply is the maximum amount of tokens which can possibly exist uh, even in the future um, well why supply size just doesn't matter is because whether you have whether everyone has 10 apples or one apple um, the market cap of the apple will still be the same. Obviously, the value will be different, but the market cap will be the same, and you will be as rich if everyone has one apple or if everyone has ten apples. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> Why would it? Like it, 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 it's just ridiculous. And and this is proven also by just the price performance of certain tokens. When you look at ADA, for example, ADA has a very large supply with like, I think, 25 billion um, tokens in circulation, which is absolutely gigantic. Um, and it has had a tremendous price performance in the past uh, few years, especially in 2017. And when you look at Bitcoin, for example, which is a supply which is incredibly little compared to ADA, which with just 21 million, uh, um, 21 million units in the total supply, well, it has a similar price performance, or at least it's not that much more volatile, nor less volatile. So supply size just doesn't matter. What does matter, however, is the fact that if you have a low cap cryptocurrency so if you have like a cryptocurrency with a, a market cap of let's say um 20 million dollars and you have a cryptocurrency with a supply of you know 100 billion tokens that's going to be a problem and the reason why is because people won't see like it's very difficult to 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 notice how um, a cryptocurrency uh, performs in terms of price when we're speaking about uh, cents and just a fractions of dollars, right? It's very difficult to notice, oh, yesterday it was at 0 0.0025 and now it's at 0 0.0027, for example. It's, it's difficult. Well, when you have a lower supply with a lower market cap coin, with like, um, let's say, uh, a 10 million supply, uh, for example, and then you can say, okay, well, you know, uh, it's it went from two dollars to three dollars, and that's just much easier. It's much easier for investors and users to be able to know, okay, this is the price performance. Well, with a large supply and local coin, that's difficult. But but 
it doesn't affect the price performance. It, it, it just, why would it? <laughs> it's not because you have more coin circulation that the price uh, will will perform worse. That just, that's just, it just doesn't work like that. So what you need to remember from this video is that supply size doesn't matter. That's all. If you like this video, as usual, please like, please share it with your friends, please uh, leave a comment, and, and, most importantly, please follow us on Twitter and on YouTube, we post daily on these two social medias, so yeah, uh, please follow us, and, uh, and see you soon.